Hello, 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 Danica here, and today I have something really quite exciting to share with you guys. Uh, this is my first public prototype of my uh, level editor for the world's hardest game. Uh, here you can see me test playing one of the levels that I created. It's a little bit crazy, but that's uh, all what the fun's about, right? So, um, yeah, what I've done is made an interface um, that you can access on the web for free with the link in the description uh, that allows you to uh, basically create enemies in this little level that I've set up here. Create enemies and edit their um, their positions and their velocities and then play your own level that you've created. And I hope to take this project a lot further at the moment. Um, there's a lot of restrictions. Uh, the enemies only travel in straight lines, no coins, you can't edit the shape of the walls, you know, all of that kind of stuff um, I want to look into. But for now, I'll just give you a quick uh, tutorial on, on how to use this and hopefully um, you enjoy it. Okay, so this is what the editor will look like when you click the link in the description below. And I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the features so far and how to use them. So at the moment we're in edit mode. Uh, so there's two modes, edit and test. When you're in edit mode, you'll have a grid overlay like this. And when you're in testing mode, it will just look normal like this. Okay. Now uh, we can spawn an enemy by pressing E. Press E, we get a new enemy over here. When an enemy is selected, it will be red and otherwise it will be blue. And I can drag around the enemy and you can see this over here is where the enemy will start and it will move to this point and then it will move back. And if I go, if I press Q to go into the test mode, you'll see that enemy is moving along the path that we set for it. And now I can test out the level. Obviously this is a very easy level, but if I accidentally died, you know, then I would run into that enemy. But here if I avoid it, I can go over here and get to the checkpoint. Cool. So let's go back to editing and let's say we wanted to change the speed of that enemy. So there's two ways you can control the speed of your enemy, uh, either with the velocity parameter or with the time parameter. So what the velocity parameter does is it basically tells you how far the enemy is going to move each frame. So at the moment, the enemy is going to move 0.04 units where one unit is the grid distance, right? So it's going to move 0.04 units but that's per frame. So it's actually, it moves at a reasonable speed. If we wanted to go faster, say we could change that to 0.1, and now it's going quite a bit faster. If we want to go faster too, maybe, maybe we could do 0.2, now it's going really quite fast. And um, if we wanted to go really slow, perhaps we could do 0.01, and now it's going really, really slowly. Okay, so that's the first way you can change the speed. The second way is with the time parameter. Now what the time parameter does is it just tells you the total number of frames that it's going to take the enemy to complete uh, its, its walk from one side to the other. So at the moment this is going to take 1200 frames. Now this uh, editor runs at 60 frames per second. So 1200 frames uh, is 50 seconds I think. Yeah, so that's going to take 50 seconds which makes sense because it's going really slowly. Let's say we wanted it to take 5 seconds. Um, so that would be 300 frames. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. I'm counting a bit too fast, but you get the idea, right? So um, that's the second way you can adjust your enemy. Now, see here it says motion type time. So when I edit the, the time parameter, it will set the enemy's motion type to time, and if I edit the velocity parameter, it will set the enemy's motion type to velocity. And what that means is that when I move it around, the velocity will stay the same. See, the velocity is always 0.1, but the time parameter will change. However, if I were to change the time parameter, now it's in time mode, the velocity will change, but the time will stay fixed when I move it around. So that's helpful for various different things. For example, if I create another enemy here by pressing E and I drag it next to this guy. Okay, so if I put, um, 
example, if I wanted these guys to go different distances, but I wanted them to both of them to cover it in 100 frames, I could go like this, and then when I play the level, you'll see they move at slightly different speeds so that they actually are in perfect sync, right? So these guys are in perfect synchronization, even though they're moving different distances. Um, alternatively, if I wanted them to actually get out of sync on purpose, I could give them the same velocity, like this, I could give them the same velocity, and now they move in sync, but now they get, there's a sort of a pattern effect where they get further apart and then eventually they'll get closer together and eventually they'll line up again. Um, if we wait for a little bit here, it might take a little while. So that's the idea between those. Um, now, when you are playing a level, there's a few different uh, shortcuts that just help you test the level. So here you can see, press I to toggle invincibility. So when you toggle invincibility, the player turns white, and now you can see no longer get killed by enemies. This just allows you to move around the level without dying. Press I to turn it off again. Press R to reset the level. So this resets not only the player's position, but also the enemy pattern. So it's basically a pattern reset. So if I press R, it just does that. Starts again, starts again as many times as I like. And um, start again, again, okay. And then the other two important things are the snap grid. So the, here, this grid at the moment is showing um, where the enemies will snap to. So at the moment, they're snapping to the corners of the grid. Okay, now you, there's three different snap types. So this is corner snap. If you press A, it will change it to center snap. So now instead of snapping to the corner of the grid, it's snapping to the center of the grid. If you press A again, it will turn the grid off. Now it's actually just continuous. So it will just go wherever my mouse is, right? Okay, and the other thing you can do, if I press A again, it goes back to corner. The other thing you can do is change the grid size. So if I press S, I get a half grid, and now I can place the enemy in um, all of these different positions. Positions. If I press S again, I get a quarter grid, and this is the smallest grid size. And again, I can change it to center. And now it's, you can just see it's in the center of those grids or I can change it back to no grid, back to corner, I can change the size again, play around, and um, yeah, you'll work it out. So uh, I hope this short tutorial was helpful. Um, this is my first version of the level editor, and I'm very excited to see what you guys think. Obviously, there's a lot that needs to be um, added and implemented. You know, I'm going to add coins and enemies that move in circles, and I might add intermediary checkpoints. And also at the moment, there's no way to um, save your level. So be careful because if you um, refresh the browser, you'll lose all your progress. But this is just a proof of concept. So hope you guys have fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.